Hi, and welcome back to the Calm and Connected podcast. I'm your host, Janine Halloran, and today we're talking again in our series about perspective taking. There are so many different times in my life as a parent where I've been able to use a teachable moment to think about different perspectives. So one moment that I often use when I think about teachable moments is when we were driving across the country. So we lived in California for a year, and on our way back to Massachusetts, we were caught in this awful, awful rainstorm in the middle of the country. It was one of those storms you could see in the distance. And, you know, as we're driving, my husband and I are looking and we're looking, we're seeing the clouds and we're, our, the road is turning a little bit and then suddenly the road turns and we're driving straight into the storm. Um, and so that was a little bit frightening. It was one of the worst storms I've ever been in. The visibility was so terrible. You could not see in front of you. It was The rain was just coming down so hard. Things were blowing around. We were at a rest stop at one point and the shi- signs were shaking. It was really, for me, it was very scary. And in our car, we had four different reactions. So I am in full panic mode. We're trying to find a place to pull off the road so that we'll be okay and we can just ride the storm out. So I am gripping the car and looking carefully to see if I can find the next exit that I know is coming up because it says so on Google Maps and it says so on the map, but I can't see it because the rain is coming down so hard. So I am in full panic mode. My husband tells me afterwards, his heartbeat was so low and calm and like he gets into those situations and he gets calm. My daughter was freaking out. She was crying and really upset and very, very scared. And my son had his headset on and didn't hear a darn thing. We pulled over and he's like, why are we stopping? So that is the perfect example, again, of same situation, same storm, we're all in four very different perspectives on the storm, even though we were all in the same car and all experiencing the same storm, we all experienced it in four very different ways. So again, a great teachable moment to help kids understand your reaction may not be the same reaction as somebody else's. Another game I love to use to help kids with shifting perspective is Battleship. So this was my daughter's suggestion for us to get over the summer. She had it in her fifth grade classroom and she really wanted it at home because she loves Battleship. So we got it. Um, And basically what you do is, you know, it's a two player game. So you set up your ships on your side and your opponent sets up their ships on their side. And what you're trying to do is with coordinates, you're trying to find where their ships are. And the first person to sink the uh, opponent's ships wins. And so just like in Guess Who and Headbands, you have to shift perspective. You think about what you know about your opponent's ships. And so you keep track of the things that you've already asked. You can peg them. And when you hit a ship, you put a red peg there. And what makes it interesting is that you have One set of the pegs is your opponent's pegs. One set of the pegs is what you have set up. So you have to really think carefully. You have to physically shift your vision. When it's your turn, you're looking at what your opponent's board could potentially look like. And then when it's your opponent's turn, you're looking at your own board. So you honestly have to shift perspective in thinking about that, but you have to also shift in thinking about where are their ships? What would be a good choice for me to go and see if their their ship is here? Should I move to their side? Should I move to that side? Should I look up? Should I look down? You have to keep track of both of those things. So it requires a lot of mental flexibility and it requires perspective taking. It requires shifting your thinking. So it's a great game. And I would highly recommend this as another two player game that you can play so that you can work on helping kids take somebody else's perspective in a fun and playful way. If you want more ideas for social skills activities for kids, please visit encourageplay.com. If you like this podcast, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And one last thing, don't forget about yourself. Make sure you take a few minutes, take some time and have a little fun. Have an awesome day.